Bonjour mes amis, hi guys. Uh, this morning I visited uh, our friend the collector here in Hong Kong who has uh, taken delivery of the brand new Massena Lab watch. So William Massena, watch aficionado, has been a retailer, has worked as an auctioneer, uh, advisor to, to brands, and uh, he's creating uh, watches, uh, many of them inspired, if not all of them inspired by uh, vintage uh, watches uh, that uh, we know and love. The one we have uh, here, is a collaboration actually with uh, another auctioneer, uh, Philips, in association with uh, Bax and uh, Russo, and uh, the watchmaker uh, for the uh, movement uh, that collaborated with uh, Masena to create this caliber is up and coming uh, watchmaker Raoul Pages. So, what is this watch about? Uh, it is uh, uh, the, the inspiration is a very special uh, reference of Patek Philippe, the 2458 uh, unique masterpiece in platinum uh, created for uh, collector uh, JB Champion Jr. in uh, 1952 uh, with an observatory uh, grade uh, uh, and a very specific uh, uh, dial and uh, that is the inspiration that you find uh, at the three o'clock with a full sub dial if you will uh, with uh, the name of the collaborators for, for this watch uh, they are in a round uh, format uh, presentation now uh, Raoul Pages uh, mid-30s uh, watchmaker recently uh, was uh, the recipient of the Louis Vuitton watch prize for independent uh, creatives for his uh, amazing uh, regulator at détente, uh, a watch that costs in the tens of thousands of, uh, of dollars, featuring a rarely seen uh, détente escapement and a regulator uh, format, a beautiful uh, timepiece that he uh, crafts by hand low single digit production uh, per year and uh, a lot of demand for this uh, timepiece however uh, the caliber we have here is an evolution of uh, caliber proprietary to a Massena lab created in association uh, with uh, Raoul Pages who had an input on uh, the, the design and on how the finishing uh, should be uh, should be done so the finishing is actually done by a craftsman in Switzerland then it is checked by Raoul Pages before being uh, assembled. After that, he will uh, again uh, check that the uh, watch uh, runs up to uh, the uh, desired standards. It uh, runs at uh, 460 hours of power reserve, 17 joules, and adjustment in five positions. Uh, but really, the tasty piece in this watch is the, the hand finishing uh, that you can get here for under 10,000 US. It's quite amazing. Uh, maybe not to the quality of uh, the Raoul Pages own uh, handmade pieces, but still you get beautiful uh, anglage, uh, hand chamfered edges on the bridges and plates, a broad plate design uh, with the Côte de Genève, uh, the Geneva stripes, and uh, of course you also have a perlage. Uh, uh, so really a, a lovely uh, movement that performs uh, really well. The watch is retailed uh, by uh, actually uh, Philips, uh, in association with uh, Bax and uh, Russo, in uh, it comes uh, with um, a deer skin leather pouch and a Safiano leather strap made in uh, Italy. Uh, water resistance, if you care about it, is uh, 5 uh, atm. Uh, it is in steel and the diameter is a 38.5 millimeter the thickness only 10 millimeters and the lock to lock 47.5 millimeters so really uh, this watch uh, with a, a steel uh, gray uh, look a silver look i should say uh, with the, the golden accent uh, two uh, roman numerals really has a quite a, a lot of presence a very calm presence a modern type of uh, designs and uh, really a lovely uh, case uh, i think the pièce de résistance is obviously the beautiful movement and the association with an up and coming uh, watchmaker 
uh, that uh, we've been hearing uh, a lot about for his uh, his uh, his timepiece. Uh, now on the dial, obviously uh, the the name of the uh, of Masena and uh, the the auctioneers uh, is is playful. Uh, let's say, uh, is it a really uh, attractive, meaningful? That's uh, up to everyone to judge. But I think the quality of the watch is absolutely there. It is a great size, beautiful movement. And um, yeah, only 99 pieces uh, at a very attractive price. Uh, I think uh, this is uh, quite a collectible and uh, indeed the collector had to uh, have one and I want to thank him for sharing it with us. But le let me know what you think in the, uh, in the comments uh, about it. We've seen many uh, collaborations between uh, brands, uh, vlogs, watchmakers of, of all sorts. So it's getting a bit uh, confusing. Uh, but I think this one is, is quite interesting. For my part, I find that the design of the dial and the case is very safe. I would have liked to see a bit more tension, a bit more playfulness, a bit more ugliness in a way that is uh, catch, catching uh, the eye. But uh, overall, for the price, I think you get a high quality watch that you can really wear uh, every day with uh, that touch of uh, hand finishing and the movement that makes it all worth it. Bye-bye, guys.